Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room's Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and this program is for uh, any preschooler or even kindergartners. Uh, everyone will get something out of it. We hope the caregivers will be there to support the program and adding more <clears throat> value to it. So here we go, and especially drown me out. I can't keep a tune, I never could. So here we go. <clears throat> The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Sure. I love my friends. <clears throat> well, here's an old friend, an old man. Yeah, he was a good friend of mine. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb. This is fun, find it. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, gave your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. Can you do that? Can you roll your hands like that? Here we go. This old, this old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my shoe. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, gave your dog a bone. <clears throat> this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack petty wake. Give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack petty wake. Give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. <coughs> oh, sorry about this. And this old man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my beehive with a knick-knack patty wet give your dog a bone this old man came rolling home oh my he sure got stung with that one we don't play with beehives haven't you learned that by now gracious you should know that well <clears throat> i have here a very sweet beast a very sweet beast it's a little lamb yeah it's a baby isn't it yeah a lamb is a baby sheep right yeah Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went. Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. He followed her to school one day, school one day, school one day. He followed her to school one day which was against the rule. All the children laughed and played, laughed and played, laughed and played. All the children laughed and played to see a lamb at school. Wouldn't that be fun, huh? To have a little lamb there sitting there, huh? That we could teach him to read, do you think so? I don't know, I don't know. <clears throat> well, every week, Wizzy has a tip, Wizzy Wizard. She has, he has a tip for everyone. And let's see what the tip is this week. Okay. We should not be afraid to use difficult <clears throat> ideas and words with our children. <clears throat> Information books have a lot to offer. Research shows that when children are exposed <clears throat> to language that is complex, <clears throat> it has a positive effect on the children's ability to use language themselves. <clears throat> so, um, uh, and at a higher level, and later on their literacy levels um, and abilities are much improved. So by all means, take out some informational books and don't be afraid to use them. <clears throat> well, what do I see here? I see some wild animals, right? They're animals, they're wild. And they are also beasts. And these are beastly babies. Beasts have babies just like we do, right? And this book is by Ellen Jackson. And look, I see a, I see a tiger and I see a tiger's baby. And what is that baby doing? Chewing on mama's tail? <laughs> oh, I don't know if I wanted to chew on a tiger's tail, but the baby's safe enough. <laughs> Babies can be smooth or hairy.
quail or whale or dromedary. Oh my goodness, what quail is a bird, whale is a big mammal that lives in the sea, and dromedary, that's a camel, right? Yeah, that's a camel with one hump. Babies can be one. There's one little penguin, right? Or many. That turtle mommy has a lot, right? <laughs> lots and lots. Oh, look at all those bees. Uh, or hardly any. Now that's a bird. What's the matter with me? That was a bee. It's a bird. Or hardly any. And look at that. Looks like a hippopotamus to me. Mama tigers crawl and creep, walking, stalking as they leap. Oh, then they leap, right? <clears throat> there they are, trying to get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Tiger babies pounce and fail when they aim for mama's tail. No, mama knows when to flick that tail out of the way, all right. <clears throat> Beaver mamas chomp and gnaw using teeth just like a saw. Look at that. You know that beavers can chop down trees? Yep. And now the baby does it too, biting more than he can chew. <laughs> yeah, he can't really, he doesn't have the good teeth yet, the sharp teeth. Elephants of jumbo size drowse and doze and close their eyes. Babies butt and ram and slap. And there goes mama's new time nap. Yeah, that happens with all mamas, I'm afraid. <laughs> Mama Robin brings a treat. Slugs or bugs or something sweet. What do you think the sweet is, huh? Possibly berries. Yeah. Baby twitters. <gasps> Give me more. I got three, but she got four. <laughs> Baby Rhino gets a nuzzle from his mama's mega muzzle. What's his muzzle? Part of the nose and mouth, you know, a muzzle. And nuzzle means to, to cuddle, right, with your nose. <clears throat> Munching, crunching, he'll grow large. Watch him practice how to charge. Woo! Oh, rhinos are fast. <laughs> they don't look it, but they are. We're gonna skip a few pages. It's a little bit long for us. And baby buffalo gets grumpy. Baby kangaroos get jumpy. <laughs> the baby doesn't want to be. Baby buffalo doesn't want to be washed. I don't think. What do you think? Mama's washing him with her big tongue. Yeah, and there goes. There goes the Joey out of the mama's pocket. Kangaroo carries her baby around in the pocket. Baby octopi squirts ink. Baby skunks cause quite a stink. Yep, there's the octopus and they do squirt ink to hide. <clears throat> and there's the skunk and they have an awful smell. If they think they're going to be hurt. They get rid of people very fast. <laughs> well, Making mischief, uh, having fun. Each is precious, everyone. In a knoll, a hole, or nest, mamas love their babies best. Look at all those beastly babies. Oh, I see what zebra's baby, an elephant's baby, a monkey's baby, huh? <clears throat> babies <clears throat> bless and fuss and cry but they grow up by and by. And what awaits them when they are grown? Hmm? That's a sloth. Huh? Beastly babies of their own. Just like people, right? Babies grow up. You used to be a baby. I used to be a baby. And then I had babies of my own, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Well, 
I see some monkeys over here. Do you see the monkeys? They're swinging in the tree. Can you put a baby up in the tree? Huh? One little baby swinging in the tree. Two little babies splashing in the sea. <coughs> Three little babies, <coughs> sorry, crawling on the floor. <coughs> Four little babies banging on the door. Five little babies playing hide and seek. Keep your eyes closed now till I say, peek. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's do that one again. Get the baby up in the tree. One little baby swinging in the tree. Two little babies splashing in the sea. Three little babies crawling on the floor. Four little babies banging on the door. Five little babies playing hide and seek. Keep your eyes closed now till I say peek. You can play that with your baby, peekaboo, right? Sure. Well, let's take him down for a while. And let's see what's up here. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Ah, I knew I would. I think I see some letters, but they're kind of crooked, aren't they? There, that's a C, B, A, and here's a big A. There. Now we have a an X, Y, Z, right? X, Y, Z. And what else do we have here? Let's see. I did have a ball here somewhere. There it is. <clears throat> The ball, oh. B for ball, B for blue. Okay, here we go. Big A, little A, bouncing B. The cats, C for cat. Cats in the cupboard and can't see me. X and Y and tumble down Z. The kitten's in the parlor. There she is up there, waiting for tea. Okay, so here we go. Big A, little A, bouncing B. The cat's in the cupboard and can't see me. Whoop. X and Y and tumble down Z. The kitten's in the parlor, waiting for tea. And I think she's gonna have cookies too. I think that's what tea is all about, really. Don't you think so? I think so. <clears throat> well, talking about babies, I know a little mouse who's feeling a little bit lonely because there's a new baby in the house. What do you think? Possibly. Whose mouse are you? Mary is peeking out of his mouse hole. Look, his sister's made a beautiful design around the house, hasn't she? She's painted that. I guess she's an artist, what do you think? And there he is looking out. Everything looks dark and blank. Oh, poor me. Whose mouse are you? <clears throat> Nobody's mouse. Where is your mother? Inside the cat. Now that cat doesn't look like a real cat to me, does it to you? Where is your father? <clears throat> Inside a trap. I don't know about that. Where is your sister? <clears throat> Far from home. Where is your brother? I have none. What will you do? Shake my mother out of the cat. <laughs> Free 
my father from a trap. Well, he used a saw in his imagination. I think. <clears throat> Find my sister and bring her home. Wish for a brother as I have none. I don't have a brother. Now whose mouth are you? My mother's mouth, she loves me so. And look what mama's done. She's brought every kind of cheese she can possibly find for me. She loves me too. <clears throat> My father's mouth from head to toe. Look at that. They're playing games with cars. My sister's mouse, she loves me too. See, she painted a beautiful flower around the mouse hole for me. My brother's mouse, your brother's mouse? Yes. My brother's mouse, he's brand new. I kind of thought so. I kind of thought that was the problem, don't you think? He didn't consider that baby a, a brother. <laughs> it was too small, but it doesn't take long for them to grow and be fun to play with, <coughs> especially mice. <clears throat> well, let everyone clap hands like me. Let everyone clap hands like me. Come on, join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone blink their eyes, blink, blink. Let everyone blink their eyes, blink, blink. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Now, this is harder. You probably can't do this, but I bet your nanny can. Here we go. Let everyone wink their eyes, wink, wink. Let everyone wink their eyes, wink, wink. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone nod their heads. Nod, nod. Let everyone nod their heads. Nod, nod. Come on and join into the game. <clears throat> Remember, it's always the same. <clears throat> Let everyone tap their shoulders. Tap, tap. Let everyone tap their shoulders. Tap, tap. Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Let everyone wiggle their hips. Wiggle, wiggle. Let everyone wiggle their hips. Wiggle, wiggle, where are your hips? Down here, right? Come on and join into the game. Remember, it's always the same. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's see what's down at the bottom of the, uh, the South Pole. At the South Pole, there are five penguins. One little penguin, nothing much to do, called for his brother. Now there are two. Isn't it good to have a brother? Yeah. Two little penguins, wishing there were more, <clears throat> happy as can be, called for their sister. Now there are three, three royal penguins. Happy as can be, <laughs> wishing there were more, called for their mommy. Now there are four, four royal penguins learning how to dive, called for their daddy. Now there are five. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, Granny Jean. <clears throat> Here we go. One little penguin, nothing much to do, called for his brother. Now there are two. Two royal penguins, <clears throat> wishing <clears throat> happy as can be, called for their sister. Now there are three. Three royal penguins, wishing there were more, called for their mommy. Now there are, what, four. Four royal penguins, learning how to die, called for their daddy. Now there are five. Right, penguins are little birds that can't fly, but they can swim, right? Absolutely. <clears throat> well, my last book today is a poem by Eugene Field, 
winking, blinking, and nod. <laughs> winking, blinking, and nod. And there they are, three children going to sleep at night. Let's see if we can do this so we can see the, uh, the print on the page as well as the pictures. <clears throat> Winkin, <clears throat> Blinkin, and Nod one night sailed off in a wooden shoe. Sailed on a river of crystal light in a sea of dew. Oh, where are you going? And what do you wish? The old moon asked the three. We have come to fish for the herring fish that live in this beautiful sea. Nets of silver and gold have we, said Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod. <clears throat> the old moon laughed and sang a song as they rocked in the wooden shoe. And the wind that sped them all night long ruffled the waves of dew. And there they are. They're having a very nice dream, don't you? Mm -hmm. The little stars were the herring fish and that lived in that beautiful sea. <clears throat> now cast your nets wherever you wish. Never afeard are we. So cried the stars to the fishermen three, winkin, blinkin, and nod. All night long, <clears throat> they, their nets they threw to the stars in the twinkling foam. Then down from the skies came the wooden shoe, bringing the fishermen home. There they are. Twas all so pretty. There they are. <clears throat> a sail, it seemed, as if it could not be. And some folks thought twas a dream they'd dreamed of sailing that beautiful sea. But I shall name you the fishermen three, winkin, blinkin, and nod. Winkin and blinkin are two little eyes, and nod is a little head. <clears throat> and the wooden shoe that sailed the skies is a wee one's trundle, trund trundle bed. Yeah. The wooden shoe was the bed, right? The three little children. See the three little children? Winkin, blink, and a nod. Winkin, blink, and nod. <clears throat> so shut your eyes while mother sings of wonderful sights that be, and you shall see the beautiful things as you rock in the misty sea. And there they are, sound asleep. Mother must have had a nice voice, huh? <clears throat> Under <clears throat> where the old shoe rocked, the fisherman three, winking, blinking, and nod. <laughs> Owned by Eugene Field. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. <clears throat> well, where's my baby? Maybe this is my baby. Oh, poor baby. This is a baby, huh? <laughs> it's someone's baby, right? Rock a bye, baby, on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Not asleep yet. Can you help me sing that? Rock a, pretend you have a baby. Rock a bye, baby, on 
the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the buck breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. That's another lullaby. I always felt that poem that we just read was like a lullaby too. A good one to read to your children at night. And that was an old <clears throat> lullaby that my mommy used to sing to me. How about this? You have a little finger. Let's pretend that's the baby. This little baby is ready for his nap. Let's lay him gently in his mother's lap. Cover him over so he won't peek. Rock him gently till he's fast asleep. <clears throat> Can you do that with me? Come on, pretend that's a baby. This little baby is ready for a nap. Let's lay him gently in his mother's lap. Let's cover him over so he can't peek. Rock him gently till he's fast asleep. Well, I think that's all for us today. <clears throat> so why don't we sing our goodbye song? So goodbye to all my penguins and goodbye to old monkey too. Bye-bye to all my beasties. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the cat in the cupboard, right? And bye-bye to the kitten in the parlor. And bye-bye to Granny Jean. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to all my friends. I'm so glad you're here today. Bye-bye, everyone. So glad you're here. <laughs>